Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and this is episode 8 of my Wingnut Wings Sock with Dolphin build. Today, I mainly be doing deckling, painting and gluing the orifice together. See the picture? Ask your mum and dad. Firstly, some deckling. I'm starting with the engine deckle, so let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on with these decals. And now for some gauges in the office. For my deckling, I use an electric wax heater. See the picture? This was sat around the house, not being used, so I acquired it. It keeps the water at a really nice temperature, ideal for releasing decals quickly. On average, it takes between 15 and 20 seconds for the decal to be released and ready to be applied. I then use Microset to adhere the decal and my own decal solvent to get it to conform to the area. My solvent is a mix of 20% enamel thinners to 80% distilled deionized water. Have a look at my tutorials, it's in there and it shows you how to make it. So, there's the office styles done. Now, to crack on with some painting. I'm gonna be doing the office chair first. Right, here's a huge tip for you. Always read the destructions. Multiple times. I did, and I still got it wrong. I'd put the decal on the wrong side of this part. Oh, dear Lord. Luckily, there was a spare decal for a different version. Shh, no one will notice. Sorry, what? 
You're telling me you've never done that? Yeah, thought so. Now, quiet in the cheap seats. Let's crack on. And there we go, disaster averted. As this piece has a gauge on it, and it's above the office level, I decided to add a bit of solder wire to the back, just to give it some form of input and look like it's got uh, a cable running into it. I did this by drilling a hole in the back and then stuck the solder wire in with super glue. A couple of minutes work to add some great extra detail. So, a quick squirt with accelerator, a lick of paint, and jobby jobbed. All done. Right, now to touch up the paintwork. Yeah, all right, quiet in the cheap seats. Paintwork on the engine. There's that done, looking good, even if I say so myself, which I do. Now to give the office chair a quick black-brown wash. That's the chair done, looking good. Now for the seat belts and some of the office parts. Right, now for some dry fitting, adjustments, and gluing of that part that I very nearly killed. But we'll not mention that, shall we?
Right, there's that done. Now to glue the seat belts to the office chair. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Don't blink. No, not the weeping angels. If you blink, you'll miss the show and tell of the seats. There it goes. That sight is the bane of my life. Doesn't matter what I try, it just doesn't stick. Oh well, I'll get it, eventually. This seems like a good place to end episode eight. Thank you for watching and remember if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>